Good evening, everyone. I think what India thinks today, uh, I cannot just share my thoughts in two, three minutes, but considering the time limit, uh, we'll have to speed up and I will try to share in as much as possible in minimum time. So I'm privileged to be here uh, at the TV network, What India Thinks Global Summit 2024. I express my gratitude to Sri Anurag Ji Thakurji, the Honorable Minister for Information and Broadcasting and Youth Affairs and Sports for gracing this occasion with his esteemed presence. I also express my gratitude to Sri Barun Das Ji and his entire TV9 team for organizing such a special and unique event. This is a great initiative by TV9, which brings all the visionaries, policy makers, influencers from around the globe under the one roof to have a constructive dialogue for the group and development of our nation. Under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, India has undergone a profound digital transformation, creating a market for digital and tech solutions. Honorable Prime Minister's far-sighted approach has propelled India to be a global hub of innovation and technology, harnessing the power of digital solution to drive inclusive growth. India is prominently re-emerging to regain its place on global economic platform and on its way to become the third largest economy. India's digital revolution, led by path-breaking initiatives like Digital India, has transformed the nation into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy with more human-centric approach to the development. The Atal Innovation Mission has prompted a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, driving job creation and economic growth. With the focus on digitization, innovation, building digital infrastructure, and adoption of emerging technologies, I'm confident that we'll be able to achieve the vision of Vikasit Bharat by 2047. Apart from providing conducive business environment, safety and security of individuals is very important to us. No nation can progress without robust law and order. I acknowledge and appreciate the strong leadership of our Honorable Home Minister, Shri Amit Shah Ji, for his bold steps to protect the nation and its citizen for maintenance of security, peace, and harmony. I also acknowledge Sri Anurag Thakurji, who has been instrumental in creating awareness amongst the youth for various other sports. Under his guidance, Hello India Initiative and Target Olympic Podium Scheme has revolutionized India's sports landscape and increased participation amongst the youth. These initiatives have helped in identifying deserving athletes who can win the medals in the Olympics and increase our medal tally. Digital payment ecosystem in India has also shown significant growth in recent years, driven by a combination of government initiatives, rise of e-commerce, increase in internet, smartphone usage, key initiatives such as Pradhan Mantri Dhanajana Yojana, UPI, Beam, have emerged as a game changer in the digital payment landscape. These initiatives have enabled seamless real-time digital transaction paving the way for a cashless economy. Various digital initiatives of our government are positively helping every fraction of our society to aspire, grow, and fulfill their dream. Let me share with you, I also come from a place like Latur. I have witnessed the digitization, how demolished the barriers and given the wings to every small town citizen like me to grow and contribute towards the nation building. To me, this is a real testament of Sankalp Se Siddhi and millions of Indians like me feel confident than ever that we as a nation has all the potential to become the Vishwaguru. At Punala Fincop, we believe in having complete transparency in our dealing as we understand and value the trust of the customers upon us. Through deep investment in technology and innovation at the core, we strive to create endless possibilities each time and partner in the growth journey of our customer. Trust, integrity, transparency, and excellence are, are at the core of our institution. Our long-term corporate goals focus on enhancing shareholder value and safeguarding stakeholders' interest. As I conclude, I'm confident that dynamic leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji will reaffirm India's status as a global powerhouse with a focus on innovation, entrepreneurship, and capital development. Once again, I thank you, TV9 team, for conceptualizing this event and allowing me to share my thoughts. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.